and the total number of 12 people. But you know, when 12 people are involved in the project, they almost work like 36 people who are not involved. I mean, you can, you people, people can contribute so much more uh, in various areas, including value addition, which many times when you work with a very sterile group of 50 people, you might end up not getting that kind of value. You know, in terms of performance, how, how to tweak the performance, how, for example, that heart comes out and says no, no, and he says mm -hmm. no, no. Mm -hmm. well, these are all additions that we put into the film. Mm -hmm. it's, on, it's not there in the not script. Generally. So, you know, how to tweak those performances. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those areas people get involved and the, the value gets automatically added to the film. Mm -hmm. But what happens is when the people are not involved in that level? The contribution is basic. The film also gets very basic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go into an above average kind of level. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, my person like just working on the animation. They got involved into the entire Yes, I mean, you know, creation. we believe, uh, people who yeah. work in Studio X service, mm -hmm. we believe that they should multitask. Multitask, yeah. Because that way they gain a sense of belonging to those projects that they're working on. Mm -hmm. They feel proud about the fact that this is a film that we have made. When people say that, oh, that 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 film that came on air is mine, mm -hmm. you know that there's a mm -hmm. different kind of pride that people take, and I would like people to have that kind of pride in, the, in their work. Okay, so what we like to say to the CG tantrics, like uh, all the people from CG Tantra community. Tantrics they are called, no? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> you know, whenever mm -hmm. you give, try and give your hundred and ten percent. When you're working on something, while while working on something, don't look at the other side and say that the other side is green. Why well, should shift into that area? I think animation is one area where you need to, uh, you know, really make thorough foundations hmm. to be able to contribute. And uh, before, you know, one starts getting swayed by the different styles of drawing and animation and medium, etc., etc. I think fundamentally, people should stress on their drawing. Mm. I know I'm talking about a very basic thing, not some, some philosophical statement. But you know, <laughs> after seeing people's work for so many years, mm. I think I, I always see that people who can draw can perform much better in animation. Mm. Uh, whichever be the medium of specialization they are going for, whether it's 3D, Maya animation, texturing, or whatever field they mm -hmm. they have that skill of drawing. Mm -hmm. They're able to be better animation filmmakers than people who, who don't have that skill. So many institutes um, are nowadays, you know, doing this propagation, saying that you know, drawing is not really the main important thing. Mm -hmm. The drawing has taken a backseat in many of the courses which used to give very strong foundation in drawing earlier. Mm -hmm. They have taken it little loose nowadays. I mean, even the prestigious institutes mm -hmm. are, I, I can see, when I see the trainees from those institutes coming and working with us, I can see that the stress on drawing has gone really poor now. So, which is not a good sign. Mm -hmm. So, whoever uh, are watching this uh, interview of mine, I, I urge them to go for drawing full hog, keep a dedicated, uh, disciplined one hour for drawing if you really seriously want to be an animation filmmaker. Thank you Thanks. so much, sir. That was a lot of uh, valuable information.